Hello Year 5. Today we're going to be looking at writing up our alternative version of Madeline and we're going to be using uh, this template on Purple Mash to create it. So we've got our front cover, you need to give it a title, so I've called mine Madeline in the Kitten Rescue. You put your name at the bottom, so I've got by Mrs Acroyd there, and you can add pictures if you want on there, so I've got a kitten up a tree there so you can see that but the important part of today is the writing so if you get chance at the end to be able to put the pictures in then that's fantastic but again the important part is the content it's what you're writing so the book is split into six sections so you've got your opening your build-up your problem your resolution and your ending and again there's a picture above for each one so you can add pictures at the end if you choose to. So here I've done some typing for mine. So this is my woggle. So in an old house in Paris that was covered in vines, lived 12 little girls in two straight lines. In two straight lines, they broke their bread and brushed their teeth and went to bed. They smiled at the good and frowned at the bad. The smallest one was called Madeline. Madeline had a canary yellow coat that gave her the aura of an angel, but she was no angel. When the little mischievous girl smiled, she would light up her room. Madeline's favourite pastime was to scare her teacher, Miss Clavel. So there in our opening, we've just introduced the characters. And then in the build-up, we're going to start talking about the problem. Remember, we're trying to have openers in there. So you've got in an old house in Paris, you can use your fronted adverbials. You might try and get speech in there as well, or some conjunctions. So here we've got, but she was no angel. And you could also try and get some adventurous vocabulary in there. So we have mischievous as well. So here on my build up one day, so we've got an opener. Miss Clavel told all the girls to get their coats as they were going for a walk. The 12 little girls grabbed their canary yellow coats and formed two straight lines. Quickly, there's my fronted adverbial. The girls walked through the centre of Paris, never moving out of line. The 12 little girls and Miss Clavel eventually reached the park. Madeline, who loved animals, began to scan the park for small animals. So there you can see that I've managed to get a relative clause into my writing as well. See if you can try and get that in yours. Out of the corner of her eye, she spotted something ginger and furry with a bushy tail nestled amongst the branches of a tall tree. Kitten! Madeline excitedly squealed. Meow! The kitten called out pitifully as it cautiously tried to climb down the tree. It froze to the spot, rooted in fear. Oh no, whispered Madeline. The kitten is stuck. And you can see here I've managed to do two-part speech with the fact that we've got, oh no, and then we've got the verb for said and Madeline, and then the speech has continued afterwards. So that would be good if you could try and include that. Miss Clavel and the other girls had continued their walk when suddenly one of the girls noticed Madeline was missing. Miss Clavel, where is Madeline? The girl asked nervously. Where is... Miss Clavel's voice trailed off as she turned around and saw a flash of yellow climbing up a tree. Don't worry, little kitten, Madeline cooed as she reached the top of the tree. I'll save you. So here we're on to our problem. However, when Madeline looked down at the ground, she felt quite faint. I didn't realise it was quite this high, thought Madeline. And suddenly she felt like a statue. I have managed to get a simile in there as well. She could not move. Madeline, that is quite enough, snapped Miss Clavel. Come down from there at once. Again, we've got that two-part speech there. Um, I'm stuck, Madeline stammered. All the colour drained from Miss Clavel's face. The other girls began to giggle and chatter nervously as they pointed at Madeline cuddling the kitten in the tree. Thinking quickly, so I've got an opener there, Miss Clavel asked a passerby to call the local fire brigade to come and rescue Madeline. So here we're on to our resolution. After a short while, the red fire engine roared into the park. The girls cheered with excitement. One of the firemen pulled out the ladders and held them up against the tree. So I'm going to put change this here. So I'm editing as I'm going. I'm going to say one of the firemen rather than one of the firemen because that makes more sense. Bravely, so I've got that opener. He climbed to the top of the tree and held out his hand for Madeline and gently helped her and the kitten back down to the ground safely. Merci, merci, which is thank you in French, cried Madeline, cuddling the kitten tightly. Miss Clavel stormed over, lips pursed, ready to reprimand Madeline. So reprimand means tell off. Now we're on to our ending. Once Miss Clavel got close to Madeline, 
She felt herself soften. Madeline had only been trying to help the small animal. She seemed so attached to it already. Surely a kitten could teach the girls many things about how to be responsible looking after someone else. Would you like to take the kitten home with us? Miss Clavelle asked. Madeline looked up shocked. All the girls fell silent, watching the conversation between them. Oh, yes, please, whispered Madeline. All the girls cheered as they made their way home to welcome their newest addition. So that's what you'll be doing for your activity and typing it up. And I am really excited to be able to read them and see what you come up with.